What's going on guys? It's your boy Terror by Reacts here and I am back finally and hopefully it'll stay that way. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of stuff going on with my mouth. Um, if you guys don't know, if you have not seen the update video, didn't care to watch it, I um, was having a little bit of trouble um, with a tooth, a previous crown in my mouth. I had to go get that taken care of. I'm still in slight pain, but it's not bothering me to the point where I can't talk or anything like that. But it's I think it's been a week since I put out any reactions. Um, I think I'm not sure, but hopefully I can get through these five episodes of Hunter Hunter tonight. So you guys can have those tomorrow and then tomorrow I'm going to be putting out some more reaction, trying to catch up on some more things. Hopefully I can get I can do a berserk read through tomorrow hopefully i can get that done so that you guys would have that because i did promise you guys to get that out to you guys last weekend and i did not so let's jump into these hunter hunter reaction man last five episodes was super dark and i'm looking forward to this arc because you guys man you guys have really 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 been saying man you still ain't seen nothing yet <laughs> so i'm ready I already see that, you know, the writing has stepped up a notch. The storytelling has stepped up a notch. I've already seen that. Okay. So, um, we're going to jump into this. We're at, I think we're at the scene where Gun and Killua, um, shows up where, um, I can never remember her name. The girl with the bees. I can never remember her name. Um, so she got killed at the end of the last episode we watched savagely, you know what I'm saying? And she was shot multiple times and then eaten, right? And then eaten. It was so dark, you know, music stopped everything. It was just a different pace and a different, just everything about Hunter Hunter, like, I mean, we've seen some dark stuff in Hunter Hunter, but that was just, that was on some serial killer level alert kind of stuff. Like, this dude could give, he don't care about bringing back nothing to the, to the, um, to the queen. So, we're gonna jump into these episodes, man, see what this is all about. You already know what to do. Leave a like, okay? Leave a like on this before you go and watch the video, because you know you're gonna like it. You know you're gonna like it. Okay, so just leave a like and also subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel yet and prepare to leave a comment in the comment section. And also, you already know what to do. Link is down in the description. Go watch the episode and then meet me right back here for the review. All right, so we just watched episode 81 through 85. Whoa. That's all I can say, man. Whoa. Talking about a riveting story so far. I mean, what are we, 10 episodes in? I think we're 10 episodes into the arc, I want to say. But these five are unbelievable. Unbelievable. They took the darkness to another level. These... Chimera ants, they're on no, they're on some no chill, you know, zero fucks given kind of situation right now. Like, what's her name? Neferpito, Neferpito, I think it is. She's a monster. Okay, she was born with. Um, let me rephrase this because it was cleared up during the episode. She's born with her aura unlocked, right? And then when she did the, the water divina divination, she found out which... So she was actually knows how to use Nen, right? Off bat. She was born with Nen ability, Right? If I'm speaking it correctly. But she's a monster. I mean, 
kite picked her up before she flew over there. Bruh, she flew over there. She flew over there, my dude. She, she just jumped. Did you see the distance? She covered... Bruh, she don't have wings. She didn't fly. She did not fly over there. She jumped. And in the, literally in the space of probably like two to three seconds, she was there. I thought she cut Kite in half when she jumped over there, man. That was nuts. That was completely nuts, man. These episodes, I mean, when she was playing around in, what, what's his name? Poku, I think it is. Pokun or whatever. Some P name. I mean, even now I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it and it's just the story right now is, is so elaborate and being so well told. I love the fact that Netero, what's his name? Moral, Moral. And what's the other guy's name? He had, he has a really weird name. The other one with the glasses that remind, he reminds me of that dude from, from Bleach, the one with the glasses that. Um, that was a Quincy. I think his name was Zurichiki. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've watched anything about Bleach. Um, yeah. I don't remember his name. But anyways, you guys know who I'm talking about. But I'm glad Netero is the one. So we're finally going to get to probably see him get serious. Which is, I'm looking forward to that for sure. Um, but in any case, man, there's not many high hopes. There's not a lot of high hopes going forward. I mean, I mean, literally, Kite told them to run. Like, get the f out of here. Get out of here. You is no match for what's coming right now. Bruh. For Kite to say that and for Kite to lose. And the whole time I was like, the whole time I was like, yo, this dude is the coolest character in, in Hunter x Hunter so far. Hands down, in my, in my opinion. I love Netero, but Kite is just so smooth. You know what I'm saying? And now he did. He dead. I can imagine being handicapped against Neferpito. Being handicapped against something like that. Bruh. And she's a specialist too. Like how much more OP are they going to make her? She's got a ridiculously large evil aura. They make her a specialist. And I can imagine that the other two is going to be either just as powerful or even more powerful. And I don't even want to think about if this king gets to be born, what he's going to be like. Because, I mean, if the king's guard are this monstrous in strength... What is the king going to be like when he's born, or if he gets born for that matter, right? I don't even want to start imagining, like, anybody that I'm attached to getting killed during this arc. Because, I mean, I love Kite. I love his character. From the introduction... Just the type of person that he is. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Sometimes some things are a cue. You know that? In watching TV shows. Um, and as, you know, a person who has done, you know, cinematography and stuff like that. Like, the cue in the, ep in the episode was when he gave, was when he gave Gunn the license. That was the cue to know 
for it was the foreshadowing of something happening to him. You know, and I'm glad it wasn't obvious. You get what I'm saying? Like a lot of times you watch shows and it's very obvious when somebody is going to die. I'm glad that it wasn't obvious. But now when I think back, that was the cue. But it wasn't obvious because of it wasn't like, oh, I'm giving you this. You know what I'm saying? There was a reason behind it, a, a big reason. When he, he said he forgot to give it to him when he found him. You know? Oh, man. It's, it's, it, it's, it's good. It's good. I mean, from a pure artistic standpoint. This is very good writing, extremely good writing. Like it's to the point where, you know what I'm saying? Dude, I don't want them to rush. And that's the thing about when it comes on to good writing, like you never want, you know what I'm saying? You don't want them to rush through it because you're enjoying it so much. The story, the, the, the dude that narrates, you know what I'm saying? So I'm enjoying it, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it with me and whatever. Um, I got up during one of the episodes. I don't know. Y'all probably saw my draws or whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't care, really. Because I actually, you know, I had to go help her with something. Um, yeah. I had to go help my girl with something. But. Yeah, hope you guys forgive me for that. Maybe you, I, I'm not editing it out because you already know I don't edit these videos. Straight full reactions. So thank you guys for tuning in, man. Um, you guys have really gotten me into this arc. And you guys ain't lying about it being, the. I mean, I want to say 10 episodes in. And it's already better than the, just the setup alone and the fights that we've seen so far is it's 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 top notch already it's top notch already way better than any of the setups for any of the other previous arcs to be sure so i'm looking forward for more man hope you guys um keep checking out these videos i'm gonna try to upload some more stuff anime and tv shows tomorrow so look out for that um as long as my mouth is not bothering me um then i will be doing reactions in the in the up in the next two days so i'm gonna try to catch up on some things um the rest of um vinland saga ping pong all of that stuff um all the weekend stuff that was missed out on i'm gonna try to get that stuff out um between tomorrow and thursday so look out for it because it's gonna be a lot of reactions coming at y'all so keep an eye out for them notifications if you have not hit that notification bell yet please do and also make sure to hit that like button okay if you have not subscribed subscribe thank you guys for listening as always you are terror squad i am mr terror by reacts and i will see you guys next time for some more hunter hunter peace